Oh, I'm so happy every time I come to Korea. Oh, this is gonna be, ooh. Ooh, I'm feeling, ah, oh, I'm feeling cold for the first time in like a month. I actually missed it. It's so refreshing and not sticky and I'm pretty sure all the mosquitoes here are dead. I love lands of dead mosquitoes. I, I really do. It just makes me happy. So previously I was supposed to be with a TV program, but that got moved. So I'm just gonna catch a cab to my hotel and my hotel is in a very strategic place. Very strategic for food. You'll see. Wow, this hotel is so nice. I'm at the courtyard, um, not in the room because, man, I've been thinking about the, the fish stew I heard here last time and I, I need to get another serving of that. Um, anyway, that's why, that's why I'm staying here. But this is the courtyard Marriott here in Nandemu. And as soon as I got in the bottom floor, someone walked me and my luggage all the way to check-in. The check-in person was so courteous. Uh, I got a free upgrade. This is like a king bed executive room or something. It's a nice size room, nice cozy size room. Oh, check this out. Oh, dear Mr. Chan, welcome and enjoy yourself. Thank you. What is this? What is this? I hope it's candy. Oh, it is candy. What? It's like truffle. Oh. <laughs> that candy, that's nice truffle candy. Not really much of a view. <laughs> then we got the, the bathrooms in Korea where you can kind of like see into the showers and the bath. Ah, that's always kind of weird to me. Huh, I guess they're trying to sell the ginseng extract. Little fridge. Robe. Yeah, this is what I love. Love, love, love this. Umbrella. Huh, you know one thing I don't see is they usually, usually at Korean hotels, they give you like a rope ladder. Just in case, you know, your hotel's on fire, you need to jump out like Spider-Man. I don't see that here. Maybe because I'm too high up. I love the fact that they give you so much water. Oh, this is gonna be, this is cool. The amenities at Korean hotels are awesome. Soaps, toothbrushes, shaving kits. Shower's nice. They also give me access to the executive lounge, so let's go check that out. But you know, after, after one more chocolate. Oh. Pretty nice lounge with a beautiful view. I should really like this. Not gonna eat here though because the market awaits. I, I just can't get out of my mind how delicious the fish jurong was at Nande Mu. So I'm gonna go get some of that right now. Whoa, this hotel across the street kind of looks like a prison. It's like one window per floor. As soon as I walk outside, this delicious smell of barbecue just, just hits me. <sighs> Love Korea. This is the place I've been thinking about for months. Hair Tail Alley. Oh man, I gotta hope some of these places still open. I actually can't remember where I went last time, the exact stall. But I'm just gonna pick a place and get my eat on. This is this fish stew and this is the roasted fish. You gotta get them both. This is the roasted fish. This is one of my favorite ways to eat this fish. This is the greatest. If you guys ever come to Korea, you gotta eat this. This beautiful stew with a piece of fish inside. It's just the greatest thing. is so spicy and so incredibly hearty. Mm. Radishes, scallions. That is great. One of my favorite fish in the world. So much meat, not that much bones. And some of the most delicious meat ever. Tastes like my childhood.
I love how they roast it. You can just grab it and eat it almost like, like a piece of fried chicken. You can literally take a bite. Crispy on the outside. Deliciously tender and nice. Wonderful smoky flavor. This fish really only has like three bones. The, the big one in the middle and then a couple on the side. And the rest of it is just great fish. That is so unbelievable. So the steamed egg. Add a little spice. Oh, that is soft. You separate this. I take out that nice little rib in the middle. You can pick it up. After you finish eating this, you can comb your hair. Oh, that was so good. I don't feel like a trip to Korea is complete until I get that fish. There's one more thing I love in this market. Let's see if I can find it. Shut down. This guy makes the best fried pancakes. It's too bad about that pancake. I, I love, love that pancake. Hey, by the way, that was just a snack. I'm about to go to dinner. And my dinner just has to be, has to be, must be some hangul, Korean beef, some of the best beef I've ever had in my life. And luckily, uh, right next to my hotel, um, literally two minutes walk, there's a 24 hour barbecue place called Chantal Bunga, I think. And it's a pretty local place, really local place. Serve one plus and two plus hangul, and two plus hangul is kinda like the A5, the one plus is kinda like the A4. So two plus is the best, that's what I'm here for. I'm so, man, I've been eating all day. I'm still so excited about this. They actually don't have uh, two plus. Right here, how will beef choice of beef cut? So different cuts of beef, that's what I'm gonna get. You gotta get some hangul, you gotta get some fish, and then your first day is complete. Banchan, banchan. Well, this place actually doesn't offer free banchan because uh, they tell me their, their meat is already really, really inexpensive, uh, which it is compared to the other humble places I've been to. But it's only two dollars or two thousand Korean won. My plate of humble beef. These, this is ribs. Um, this is ribeye. And check it out, this is the special cut. Look at the beautiful, intricate marbling on this beef. The marbling is not as much as Kobe, because Kobe is about 60% fat, that's why it melts in your mouth. Hangul, I think, is about 40 to 50% fat, so it's got a nicer chew, a bigger beefy flavor, and it's absolutely delicious. Let's get some little ribs on there. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. See, this piece on top, this big piece of fat, what you do is you take this, and then you kind of like, I, 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 I'm already a little late, but you kind of spread it around like butter on the grill and it's just gonna melt. Oh man, this is awesome. The smell coming out of this, the smoke, this, this piece of fat is just, just melting completely. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm so unbelievably happy right now. Oh, by the way. I got a bowl of dumpling soup. You guys see how white the broth is? Because it's stewed in bones majority of the time. So this thing should be just so milky smooth and tasty. Oh. Mmm. That has so much flavor in this soup. Oh, it's so good. My steak is ready. This piece is definitely ready. All you need is a little bit of salt, is it? Oh, these two. Oh. Oh. That is so smacking me in the face good. It was just as I remembered it. It's such a delicate bite. Like, you could cook hangul medium well, it will still taste good. That meat is so incredibly tender. It's just one of the juiciest, most tasty bites of steak you can ever have. Like every bite. Unbelievably perfect. Kobe goes into your mouth and it melts completely. It's like butter. It's one of the greatest things I've ever had. And I, and I still prefer that over hangul. But hangul, you taste the beef, one of my most anticipated meals. Every bite is just transformative. Take a little onion. Let me just savor this for a minute here. Because. Because you cannot find this in the stage. If you come to Korea, and you don't have hangul and you're a steak lover, 
you're ready for some ultimate food regret, my friends. What they do here also is tip your hangu in a little, little salt. Put some onions on top. And yeah, th these pieces are little, little charred. These are my pieces of fat that from the beginning. Oh, that's the fat. A little crispy on the outside. Mm. Butter. And then, oh, and then what you do? Take a little of the salad because it's covered in sesame oil. And you chase it with the salad. And then what are you gonna get? It's just with a beautiful sesame flavor. You ever seen a happy food face? This is a happy food face. Oh, I gotta pay some attention to this soup. This place makes dumplings. Look at the size of these dumplings. I see some chives in here. I think this is pork dumplings. Oh my God. I just randomly found this place. I'm gonna put a location for you guys. Come here, get some hangu, get some of these crazy dumplings. Like half a dumpling was a mouthful for me. Look at the size of one dumpling. I, I don't think I could fit this whole thing in my mouth. All right, pickle it. It's so meaty, and the veggies in there are so fragrant. The soup. You can taste the bones, man. Next, I'm gonna put down some beef ribs. Oh yeah. Yeah, here that sizzle. And I think the forecast calls for some rain, some garlic rain. Smell the beautiful garlic flavor. Oh. Oh yeah. That is awesome. Stir fry that around with the garlic, the onions. Oh, it's ready to go. are some of the best cuts here. They're just so unbelievably flavorful because this cut of meat is, is right off the bones, you know? Oh. Literally, every time I'm taking a bite, this awesome juice from the beef just fills my mouth. I'm loving these pickled onions. It's just when the beef flavor is getting a little too much, a little too fatty, this cleanses your mouth and you start all over again. Now to try the special cut. This, this is what I'm anticipating the most because it looks like it has the most marbling. I'm just gonna one bite this baby. Oh. For some reason, I just had the uncontrollable urge to sing Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. Because yeah, that thing set my heart a flying. Unbelievably juicy. Just a colossal flavorful piece of beef. I really wish steakhouses in the US could give me this feeling. I really do. That's gonna be another memorable dining experience. I guess now all I got is the dumplings. By the way, here's what happens when I try to eat a whole dumpling on in one bite. It can be done, it's so massive. All right, well, after a day of eating, I feel pretty good. Now I just gotta go back to the hotel and pass out for a little bit. Good night.